All the edges on this Megamix are actually oriented, but what even is edge orientation? Let's define edge orientation as having two parts. The first is that an edge can be solved given uh, a certain gen. So for this example, given the U gen, this edge can be solved, and so can this edge, but neither of these two can. The second rule is that you shouldn't use a gen where you're able to bring an edge back to its same position in an odd amount of moves. For example, one, two, three is odd, and this edge is in the same position, so you can't use URF gen. Some common valid gens are U for last layer, RU for Petrus, M2U for Rue, or even RULDF2B2 for ZZ. On Megaminx, we also have UGen, which is used in last layer, RUGen, which is used in Petrus, and uh, 4Gen, which is used in ZZ Spike. But what if I told you that there's actually three different ways we could do a 6Gen? The first pattern is like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that requires you to solve an edge piece, and opposite to that, a block. The second requires you to do something like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this has one block opposite another block. The final is like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this only has five edge pieces you need to solve. For this video, I'll be using the final method as it's the simplest, but you should probably note that unlike the other two patterns, this one doesn't connect to itself, since it just goes linearly, which could theoretically make it the least efficient. So once you've scrambled your magmix, the first step is to form a pattern like this. Side note, I forgot to say this in the video, but I'm calling this step the helix. I'll be using this color scheme, and so let's start off by solving this piece, blue and uh, pink. So first we need to find it, it's right over here, so we can do this. Now pink and gray is the next piece, so let's go on to that. Um, and then gray and orange. So let's look for gray and orange. It's right over here. So we can solve that. Now let's do orange and purple. And it's right over here. So we can solve it to this position like this. And finally, purple and green. Okay, so purple and green's right here, so we can solve it like that. So before we can solve edge orientation, we should split all the colors into groups. So first we have this group, which is lime, white, and cream. Then we have a second group, which is sky, red, and yellow. And we'll call these group A, group B, and then we'll call all the other colors group C. The easiest way to tell if an edge is oriented is to see if it's facing towards its own color group or away from an, the other color group. So this edge is oriented since it's a group A that's facing towards a group A. So is this, but this is a group A facing away from a group A, so it would be misoriented. This is a group A facing towards a group A, so it's oriented. And this is a group B facing towards a group A, so it's misoriented. So what we need to do to flip these two edges is to take one and separate it from the other, put one on uh, adjacent to group C, and then you can move a group C so they're in the same layer, and then replace the previously bad edge but now good, and then undo the group C move. And you just keep on repeating this with every edge uh, unoriented pair until you have edge orientation. Once you've oriented all the edges, you've effectively turned this Megaminx into 6 gen. So instead of having to use all 12, you can only use these. 
Now the goal is basically to solve all the sides to, until you get to the last layer. So how I like to do it is to uh, do basically what is like ZZ snake pattern and bring all of the lime edges and corners to the right and it, then once you do that you can block build and keep on expanding until you have your last layer. Once you get to last layer you can now use um, whatever gens to solve last layer it doesn't really matter and just use whatever EO last layer thing that you like. You're probably wondering if this method is even viable. I've been able to get pretty similar times to it compared to my main method, which is Petrus. I've only done like 10 solves of this method, so... Uh, the, when you first start out, the edge orientation is kind of bad, but uh, you get a lot faster when you do more solves. And you, compared to Petrus, which has 9 edges to orient, this does have 15, which is a lot more. But still, it's in its infancy, and perhaps more people will get learn the method and develop it further. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more bad methods.